Sorry. Alex J, could you read our goal for today, please? We will be able to choose a strategy we prefer. Describe how we use that strategy to solve an addition problem. Thank you, sir. All right. So we're going to be able to look at a strategy. Today, I want you to work on being able to explain very clearly what you did step by step and then notate it. And when we say notating, what we mean is being able to clearly show what you did step by step when you write out those steps. Okay. So we looked at some strategies yesterday. We're going to, I'm going to give you time to do that again today. Okay. So we saw, we discussed solutions to a problem yesterday. We talked about how you started them and what you did. So today I want you to look at this problem, 196 plus 625. Okay. My only rule, all right, is that I'm going to, so at first I'm going to have you solve it and then I'm going to have you explain your answer and I'm going to notate it. My rule is you cannot use the standard algorithm. You have to do it a different way. So this right here, 196 plus 625, can't do it. Okay. Got to do it a different way. We're going to talk a lot about the algorithm later this week. I want you to do it a different way this time. Okay. That's fine if you normally use that. It's okay. I understand that. But I want to talk about different strategies today and help each other learn these other strategies. So I'm going to give you four minutes. If you solve it one way, solve it another way. See if you get the same answer. All right. I'm setting a timer for four minutes. We're going to go through your solutions in four minutes. Go. Two minutes left, two minutes. All right, let's share strategies. Who would like to share one way you solve that problem? Marvin, go ahead and talk us through. Now watch, I'm gonna notate step-by-step step exactly what Marvin did. So Marvin, whenever you're ready, you can share your strategy. So first I looked at the problem. Yeah, and I added six plus five and that equals 11 and I added two plus nine equals 11. 
I added 11 plus 11, that equals 22, plus 7, and that equals 29. Okay, so what you did, you, okay, so I'm going to slow down. So you added by place, but you didn't account for place value. So what you did was you added 6 plus 5, then you added 2 plus 9, and then you added 6 plus 1, right? But you didn't account for what those are actually worth. So we're going to kind of alter that a little bit, and we're going to talk about a different way of thinking about that, okay? So give me just a second here. Why is this not erased, really? All right, I'm just going to clear the answers. Just give me a second. Okay, so what we need to do, Marvin, when we do that is we need to count what all of those are actually for. So we're going to start with the hundreds place. This is adding by place value. So Marvin, this one right here is in the hundreds place. So what is that one actually worth, Marvin? 100. 100. So I have 100. Plus, what is this six actually worth right here? 600. 600. Marvin, what's 100 plus 600? 700. All right, so I have 700 there. Then I'm going to go to my tens place. This nine is in the tens place. What's that actually worth? Marvin, did we lose you? Um, if nine is in the tens place, what's that actually worth? 900. Uh, tens place, nine tens. Somebody help him out. Unmute, tell me, what's nine tens worth? 90. 90. So I have 90 plus two tens is worth 20. So I do 90 plus 20, and I would get... 110. Then last, I'm going to go to my ones place. Six ones and five ones. So I do six plus five and I get 11. Then I'm going to add those all together by place. So I have 110, I have two, or sorry, one one, two tens, and eight hundreds. And I get 821, right? That's adding by place. I took, I separated each one. It's almost like I wrote them out in expanded form, right? 196 is right there. 625 is right there. All right. Um, who solved it a different way and is willing to share? Need somebody else. Who did it a different way? Did we all solve it that way? Cynthia, is that how you solved it? No? Cynthia, what did you do? Number line. Use the number line. All right. So talk me through exactly what you did. I'm going to draw out your number line. All right. What did you do, Cynthia? First, I put 600. 25 at the beginning. So if you guys look, she started at 625, right? She put that number at the beginning, all right? So the numbers we're going to have to add up on her jump are going to have to be equal to 196. All right, Cynthia, go ahead. First step. Then I jumped 100. All right, what did that give you? 725. All right, what'd you do next? Then I jumped 90. What'd you get from there? 815. All right, then what? Then I jumped 60. And, and got 821. Okay, so there's her answer, right? Here is her 196, 100. 96, right? So notice how I wrote out, and I'm guessing Cynthia's looks the exact same, is I wrote out every last step. My 100, I wrote where that got me, my 90, or where they got me, and my six. The last one I'm gonna show you over here to the side is adding in chunks. And that's where I start with one number. Basically what Cynthia just did is kind of like adding in chunks, but she's using a number line to help keep track of her thinking. 
but I could also add in chunks by starting with this. And what I do with that is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to start with my 196, 196. And then I'm going to add just my hundreds chunk from 625. So I'm going to add 600. What's that give me, CJ? All 196. Plus 600. 796. Okay. So then I'm going to add just my tens chunk. So I'm going to have my 796 that I just got, and I'm going to add my tens, which is 20, and that gives me 816. Then I'm going to add my ones chunk, and I'm going to do 816 plus five ones equals 821. All right. So those are the different strategies we can use. Okay. Your job today. Sorry, I lied. I'm gonna have you do one more. Okay. I'm gonna have you solve one more. Um, we're gonna break down the problem and read it. And then I'm gonna give you three minutes to solve. I'm gonna ask to see your whiteboards. We're gonna share and then I'm gonna send you off to do your work. All right. So we're gonna do one more. Um, I'll read the problem. I'm going to ask you guys to identify some of the important numbers. Derek, be ready because your name's coming up. It says Clarence is saving up to buy a new lawnmower for his birthday, for his business. Sorry. In June, he saves $257. In July, he saves $324. How much money has he saved so far? Derek, what is one important number from this problem? 257. Thank you. 257. Uh, Alex J, what's the other important number from this problem? 300, 324. 324. So I'm doing 257 plus 324. And you cannot use the algorithm. I'm telling you I'll be ready because I talked to Cynthia and Marvin, last time, I'm going to be calling on two different people this time, all right? I need to see your boards in three minutes showing me the work you have done, all right? It's okay if that three minutes is too short and you don't get it quite finished. I need to at least see what you have accomplished in three minutes. Go. You guys have one more minute.
All right, y'all, go ahead and show me your whiteboards, please. All right, thank you. Alejandro, can you go ahead and tell me what you did to solve that problem? Step by step. So I did 200. So I, I added 200 plus okay. 300. All right. And what did you get? Five equals 500. Okay. Where did you get the 200 and 300 from? From, from 257 and 320. Yeah, the hundreds place up here, right? All right, what'd you do next? Then I added 50 plus 20. All right. And that equaled 70. So you look, that comes from up here, right? There's the 50, there's the 20. All right, what's the next step? Then I added four, seven plus four. All right, what'd you get? 11. All right, then what? And after that, I added 500 plus 70 plus 11. Yeah, and you get 581, correct? Yes. Okay, so Alejandro, if you look, added by place. He broke down each place, right? Um, Alex J, what did you do? I saw yours right now. <clears throat> Mine was different. Yeah, you kind of added by place starting with the ones, right? I saw what you did. Tell us, what did you do first? First, I added from the last number. So you seven ones twice. So you added seven ones plus four ones. Mm -hmm. What what did you get? I got 11. All right, then what? And then I put the the one and eleven, and I put it onto the five. Okay, so I'm gonna talk through exactly why. So you got eleven. So what you did was you put a one over here from the, in the ones place because eleven has one ten and one one, and then you put a little ten over the top of the five tens. Okay, now what? I added the five with the two. So you added the five tens. And two tens, what did you get? I got eight. And then you added that one at the top, right? So five, six, seven, eight, and got eight. Then what? And then I added the two with the three. Then you added the two hundreds and three hundreds, and you got, whoops, I meant that would be a different color. Sorry. Give me just a sec. Sorry. Two hundreds. With the 300s and got what? How many hundreds? 500. 500. And you got an answer of 581, right? So you added by place, but you started with the ones. What you did was very similar to the algorithm without writing it out exactly how the algorithm goes. We'll talk more about why that way you work did works in the future. All right. So your guy's job today is going to be to solve more addition problems on 267 and 268 in your workbooks, okay? I'm gonna show you really quickly. If you go to Canvas, it shows up. If you click on Tuesday and you click on math, you'll find it right here, more addition problems, okay? It shows up as a quiz, all right? I'm gonna show you the preview. So it has the problems from your workbook right here. One, I think there are six of them. So there's six addition problems. It says, the, um, solve the problem, then upload a video and explain your answer or type an explanation. So you can either solve it and then you can go down here and tell me your answer and explain it. 
or you can take a video of your workbook or your whiteboard and explain what you did to solve it for each problem. But you'll notice there's six questions. The quiz is 12 points. If I go back, it says it's 12 points. Every question is worth two points. One for, is your answer to the problem correct? One for, did you explain your answer? Okay. Anybody have questions about your job today?